Hi everyone, I want to introduce you my Trek 920, full equipment. I bought this wonderful bike in the 2021, a few months after it was discontinued. It comes with a SRAM drivetrain. The crank is 4228T by 10 speed cassette, 1136T. It's quite good, but when I'm full loaded, I would have had a lighter gear. I guess if I had a 42T on the back or 26 crank, maybe it would have been better. I made some upgrades and adaptations. After the first month and several punctures, I switched to tubeless. I put these tires for the second time. I find them great for this bike. They work very well at 30 psi. They are 2.2 and fit very well with SKS Mudguards 75mm wild. I raise the handlebar to make it more comfortable for long distance. This is my setup. This light is extraordinary. It's very powerful, sturdy and it has a very long life battery. Instead, for the back, I have two rear lights. One is on the back saddle, which is covered most of the time, because usually I always carry my bag on the rear rack during my rides. The other one is on the back, both lights are rechargeable to adapt it without depriving me of the rear reflective I had to apply some steel relays I'm really happy about these mud guards. Before I had shorter ones that didn't cover enough and at the end of each ride I had to clean my bike every time. Instead now, as you can see, my bike is finally clean. I like this handlebar. I just changed the tape when I raised it up and replaced brakes and gears cables with longer ones. Also, I put a small rechargeable electric horn, which is something useful, but to make me hair by cars, but also by some people who are on the way, especially old people. Sometimes they don't hair so well, so after the first attempt with the bell, if they don't hair, I use the horn for my safety and for their safety. You can set the sound and the volume.
Also, I set a small alarm. I usually never leave my track 920 unattempted, but sometimes you need to leave it, even if only for a few minutes, and it could be a good deterrent. I use a short Prologo saddle, which I have been using for many years. It's really comfortable. I mounted some Bontrager flat pedals. They are very sturdy and works very well. They have adjustable screws, so as they consume you can adjust them to have the grip you want. On the front rack, the bag I use is now an integral part of this bike. It's a small 7 liter bag. In this way, I avoid bringing bags tied to the underpart. Instead, the rear rack is initially free, which, if necessary, I load it according to the needs. I put the kickstand just as I bought the bike, which is extremely useful. I'm not a minimalist cyclist, I bring with me what I need and also what could be needed. I don't go to rising, otherwise I wouldn't have bought a touring bike if I was afraid by the weight but it still remains a lightweight bike despite being equipped. I'm very happy with this bike, which is for me and for my use the best bike ever. It's one of the few bikes and maybe the only one in the world who gives you the opportunity to combine these four things. Mountain bike tires, predisposition for mud guards, front and rear racks and a good range of gears. These four combinated things are really difficult to find on a single bike. I hope you liked this video dedicated to my Trek 920 and to every lover of the journey. Thanks for watching. <music>